side. And actually, you know, after, I mean, before I uh, posted the assignment number two, I have already warned you, right, that, uh, you know, you, you should, you should uh, prepare more time, right, to do assignment number two. So, so again, you know, assignment number three will be out soon, right, I think in, in two weeks. Uh, so, so again, you know, you should, um, I, I would suggest that you start doing it immediately, right, after it is posted. You know, finishing assignments earlier would be always uh, be better than, you know, finishing assignments later. Okay, so it's about time. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, if you remember, you know, last time we have discussed the uh, ABL trees, right? And then we have discussed there are uh, four cases of rotations, right? So uh, in the beginning of today's lecture, let's uh, have a brief review of the rotations that we have learned. So on page number one, you'll see two cases. Uh, you know, on left-hand side, we have the right single rotation. So, so this is how we do right single rotation. So remember, you know, when we need to do right single rotation, right? So we say, if we have insert a note to, to the left and left, right? Then we do right rotation. And then, you know, right and then right, then, uh, you know, left rotation, okay? And then, you know, case number three and four is very simple. So if it is left and right, right? So, so we inserted a new note here, left and right, then we do left, right, double rotation. And right and then left, then we do right, left, double rotation. Okay, so, so that's uh, what we should have learned last time. Uh, I hope you still remember it. And then uh, actually we have uh, done a very long example showing all the necessary steps, okay? So what are we going to do today? Um, it's very simple. Uh, we do the implementation. Okay, how to write programs to do rotations. Okay. Uh, so it seems to be a hard task because uh, you know how can we rotate a tree, right? So uh, so let me show you. You know, with ADP, rotating a tree is extremely simple, and uh, I would say it's so simple that it's always like trivial. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, so now uh, we have seen this picture many, many times. So we have already defined the uh, header file, right, for tree ADT. And then, you know, that is the implementation. Okay, so, uh, so for implementation, we have the tree node ADT and the tree ADT, right? And uh, today we are going to write rotations. So guess which part should we write rotation in this part or in this part? So what do you think? Uh, so many people will say, mm, probably it would be easier to include rotation in this part because I can manipulate the, the implementation directly, correct? But that's for sure, you know, if you, can able to, if you are able to, to manipulate the implementation directly, that would be much more easy. And then, and then today, I would need to show you that no, we write rotation programs in this part. That is, we only make use of the function provided by the ADT, and then we can do rotation. Okay. Let me show you how, okay? So remember, uh, we write program in this part, right, as far as possible. Mm. Now, this is the uh, .h file, okay? So let me uh, have a brief review of uh, what we have. So that is ABL tree ADT, okay? So we have the tree ADT here, okay? And then we can create non-empty ABL tree. We can create empty ABL tree, right? We can have the uh, left subtree, right subtree, 
as usual. We can check whether the tree is empty. Uh, here, I'm a bit lazy. I still use integer, right? I don't use Boolean, but it's all basically the same, right? You just improve standard bool, then we can improve, uh, we can use Boolean here. And then mm, mm, one thing new here, okay? So that is, uh, we have a new function that is uh, here, right? The height of the tree. But that is important, that will be important. So we can include a new function here, okay? And then we can get the root of a tree, okay? So when we get the root of tree, we get a tree node. Now, next part, we have the uh, tree node ADT, okay? Uh, we have a special error note, right? Uh, uh, you know, I have sent an email and say, mm, we have changed the, uh, the re-implementation only because C Lion does not like our previous implementation. I don't know why, right? Because, uh, you know, I, I actually, you know, I have tested all the programs before using other compilers other than C Lion, but somehow C Lion does not like it. So I change it, right, to, uh, to, to, to something like this. So special tree node is just a node pointer, but it's a tree you know, ATT node pointer, okay? Um, now we can uh, have uh, uh, a new tree node that is we, create, we can use it to create a new tree node. And then we get a key, get the data right from the node. Like a key is a character string, but the data is simply an integer, right? And you say, mm, yes, okay. It's okay because, uh, you know, you can get, put anything in the data, but here for simplicity, we only assume that data is an integer. Okay, no problem. So, next. Okay, now let's write functions that perform rotation. So how do we start? We uh, first start by writing functions that perform single rotations. Okay, so how do we write single rotation functions? Uh -uh. Like this, that is it. Now, uh, listen to me carefully. That is it, one page. That is single rotation. Have you ever imagined that the rotation function can be implemented in one page like that? Now, let me show you how, let me show you how. Now, that is a, actually a more complicated version. And I will show you the simpler version next slide. Okay, so let me start with the more complicated version. Uh, still, you know, one page. So now, before we go to the program code, let's look at these two pictures and let's see what a left single rotation would do. So the input to the function would be a tree. So we get AVL tree uh, as the input argument. And the output will be another tree, okay, after rotation. So we get a tree left rotate it, and then we get a new tree. Now, again, again, according to the uh, definition of ATT, this tree should not be changed, right? We only want to return a new tree, and the new tree is a rotated old tree, okay? So, so that's what we want. So uh, look at this. Suppose this is the, uh, the T that we want to rotate. After rotation, what do we get? Now, this is the tree before rotation. That is the tree after rotation. So after rotation, basically, you know, we put this node as the root. This R will be here. This L sub tree will be here. And then this tree will be here. And then this tree will become the right sub tree. So what do we do? Okay. So very, very simple. We look at the picture and write our code. So first, R sub tree is the right ABL sub tree T. That is, we call this R sub tree. Okay, this is R sub tree. Okay. And then left L sub tree, what's L? So we, we say this part will be the left L sub tree. Left L sub tree will be a new tree. We say it's a non-empty ABL tree, okay? So, uh, it, so, so what is the root? The root is R. So we get the original root, root of T as its root. That's R, become this R, root of T. Left sub tree is the original left sub tree. Left sub tree of T. What, right sub tree is what? Right sub tree, right sub tree is the left subtree of the R subtree. Now, what's the R subtree? R subtree is this part. 
That's the R subtree. It's the left subtree of the right subtree. Correct? So we constructed this new L subtree. And finally, we return. Return what? Return a non-empty AVL tree with this as a root. What's that? That is the root of R subtree. You see? The root of R subtree. And then the left subtree is the new L subtree. And the right subtree is the right subtree of the R subtree. Finish. Very simple. Question time. Any question? No, no. It's so, so simple, so logical, right? So, uh, so how do we write programs? Uh, we look at pictures and we construct the trees, okay? Okay, so no question, right? So you see, notation is extremely simple. Uh, so you may ask a question that is, you know, I promise that this is a more complicated version. So is there a simpler version? Uh, of course, of course, the simpler version is this. Look at this. This new L subtree, this R subtree, they are not necessary. Why they are not necessary? Because when, wherever we have R subtree, we put this back, right? AVL tree subtree of T, we put it here, right? And, and, and so on. This new L subtree is only used here. So we can put the whole thing here. So actually, we can ignore this step. We can ignore this step. We start our function with return, <laughs> okay? But, uh, you know, let me sh still take some time to explain to you, you know, what happens in, in, in this program, okay? So we say this is pretty simple and very, very logical, okay? I, so, so, so here, you know, here is the original tree. After rotation, we, we, we get this, okay? So I hope all of you can now write the right rotate function, okay? And, and I'm not going to write it for you because it's so simple, okay? So when, when you know how to write the left rotate function, then you must be able to write the, 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 the right rotate function. That should be no problem. Okay, so here I show you the simpler version, okay? We start the whole function with return, okay? So we return this, sub tree, this tree directly, okay? So return, what do we return? We return a non-empty AVL tree. Now, what is the root? The root is this. That is the root of the right subtree. So you see, root of the right subtree of T. And for the left subtree, we construct it here. Non-empty AVL tree, right? And the root is the root of T. And the left subtree is the original left subtree. And the right subtree is the left subtree of the right subtree of T, okay? We just write everything directly. What about the right subtree here? Right subtree is the right subtree of the right subtree of T. Okay, Ex you know, extremely simple. Okay, any questions about that? <laughs> really, no, right? So, uh, so, so, so this is, you know, the left rotate function. So you should be able to write the right rotate function yourself. And therefore I am not going to show it to you, right? So, so write it. So is there anyone who thinks, uh, you know, you don't know how to write uh, the right rotate function? Well, probably not, right? Probably not. Okay, good. Uh, question time. Any, any other questions concerning this left rotate function? No, no. Okay, good. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, next, let's write function that perform double rotation. Would it be more difficult? Um, no, you, you, you know the trick. The trick is that uh, we uh, look at the picture and write our codes, okay? So look at this picture. So I, I, I show you how to write the right left rotate function. And, you know, as before, uh, you know, after this function, I am not going to write the left right rotate function for you because you should be able to, to write the left right rotate function for yourself. Okay. So again, you know, look at, look at this picture, you know, you know, see what, you know, 
what the code should be. Now that is the function. Very simple. Okay. Now that is the beginning. That's the end. And there's basically one line, right? And the next line is return. Okay. Now look at this. How do we do right, left, rotate? So this is the original tree. We first we do a right rotate here, and then we do a left rotate here. So first a right rotation. So after right rotation, we have this, right? N2 up, N3 down, okay? And then T2, T3, T4, and then we get this new tree, okay? This new tree. So, uh, so how do we get this new tree? We do a simple single right rotation. Now that is a ordinary right rotation, correct? Okay. So, uh, so basically that is it, uh, am I right? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, anyway, so, uh, so let's uh, see, let's check. Yes, yes, that is a, an ordinary right rotation, okay? After doing the right rotation, what do we do? We do a left rotation. Now that is an ordinary left rotation, okay? After the rotation, we have finished the right left rotation. Okay, so just like that. So step number one, we construct this T1. Okay, now this T1 is, first we get the root. The root is the original root N1 still here. Left subtree is the original left subtree. But about, how about right subtree? We just right rotate the right subtree and use the right rotated right subtree as the new right subtree, correct? Okay, so let me, let me repeat. So what's the difference between this tree and this tree? Now we call this T1, we call this T1. So first, the root will be the same. So we use the old root as the root. Again, left subtree is the same. So we use the original left subtree as the left subtree. How about right subtree? Oh, we have to take the original right subtree and right rotate it. After right rotation, then we get the new right subtree and then we get T1. What's T1? T1 is the whole tree is T1. Okay, and then next step, we left rotate T1. So we return left rotate T1, finished. Okay, it's, uh, it's uh, very, very, uh, very simple. Okay, question time. Anyone has questions for me about all these slides? Okay. No. So, 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 can I say you know the left right rotation and right left rotation? You know all these rotation functions are simpler than what you have imagined. Yes. Yes. Now you see that is the power of of ADT. Okay. So you see what do we have here? First. We see trees. We directly program with trees. Okay? We don't see anything else. We only see trees. T1 is a tree. T1 is really a tree. Okay? And we really get one tree as the argument. We really return a tree as the output. We don't return a rat cup. We don't return a pointer. We don't return anything. We don't, we don't return structures. We don't return array. We return trees. We take tree as argument and we return trees. And we really left rotate a tree. Now that is the power of ADT. So ADT is really a very good thing that you should learn. Uh, of course, I'm sure that by now, you know, most of you, or I think all of you should have learned ADT quite well and you know what they are. You know, it, the power of ADT is that if it is a tree ADT, it is a tree period, okay? It is no longer a pointer. It is no longer a uh, record uh, or, or, or sorry, a structure or whatever, right? So, uh, so, so actually for the whole program here and the previous program here, or even this program here, you don't see one single pointer. You don't have to deal with pointers, okay? No pointers, okay? So, so it's amazing. Right, because uh, you know, I am sure that, that be before you 
before you decided to take this course, uh, you would ask people, hey, you know, what programming language would be used in this course? Uh, you know, when people ask me, I always reply to them and say, yeah, we use C. And, and they, they started to be afraid, right? Because, ah, you see, we have to use pointers. Oh, yeah, yes, 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 we use pointers. But we use ADT. When you, when you have ADTs to use, you don't use pointers, correct? Okay, of course, we learn a lot of pointers. We learn really a lot. You know, remember what we have learned? Well, we, we, we learn even function pointers, right? That is something that is very advanced, right? And, and we, we, we discussed, you know, the relationship between arrays and pointers, right? And, uh, you know, when we discuss the quick sort function, we say, you know, that is array and it's also pointers. But actually, you know, the power of ADT is that you can get rid of pointers. You don't need pointers, right? Uh, so, um, so, so probably, you know, later on in the future, you know, someone asked you, hey, now you have taken this course of data structure and you used a C programming language, then you must be very good at pointers. How would you reply to them? Uh, okay, never say no, right? You say, yes, of course, I'm very good at pointers, right? Uh, but you can also say, but uh, we don't use them. We don't use pointers, right? We use ADTs. And, and of course, they would ask you what ADTs are. And then you can start teaching them, right? What ADTs are, right? ADT is really very good. Okay, okay, enough. So <laughs> let me go on. Uh, uh, now, that is a simpler version. Uh, what, what is this simpler version? So uh, actually, you know, this T1 is used only here. So I can put everything here into here, right? So I start the program with return. So we return left, rotate, the whole thing, and then we get this program. Return left, rotate, what? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, so it's just like that, okay? Uh, so you see, it's, it's very abstract and very uh, complicated uh, and very logical. Uh, now when I say complicated, because, you know, look at this. Return left, rotate a tree. What is the tree? The tree has the root of t as the root, uh, the tree has the left subtree of t as the left subtree, but the right subtree, mm, we just right rotate the right subtree of t and then get the right subtree. And then we left rotate it and then return it. We return a tree. You see? You see, we write very logical programs. And uh, you know, you don't need to think about the detailed implementation with pointers and, stru and, and structures. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, questions? No? Very good. Okay. So advanced programming, right? That is uh, what I promised to you in day one, advanced programming in C. All right. Good. Well, I would say this is uh, even, you know, really simpler. I would say it's actually simpler than single rotation. Okay. So, so I hope all of you can now write the left, right rotation. Okay, uh, next, we are now ready to write the uh, insert node function. Okay, that is a bit more complicated. Okay, now insert node. Uh, now we say it's AVL insert node. That is when we insert the node to the AVL tree, we want to maintain the AVL property, right? Okay, so let's start the program with a simple case that is, that is, we want to write a insert node function. This is x. X is the node that we want to insert. And this is the t, that's a tree. And we want to return a tree. So we say, case number one, if that this t is empty, then what do we return? So we return a non-empty AVL tree, x with two empty AVL trees as subtrees. That is it, okay, that is Part one. Okay. Part two. Okay. If that is the case, that is, you know, the original AVL tree already uh, exists. It is not an empty tree, it is a non empty tree, and we want to insert it. So we compare the key of X and the key of this root. You see, we compare the key of X and the key of the root. It's very logical. We can, we can almost read it directly, okay? 
So three cases. The first case, if sine is zero, that is the key of x and the key of the root is the same, then what do we do? We say we replace the root, okay? According to the definition, <coughs> all the keys must be unique. Therefore, we replace the root. So we return non-empty AVL tree with x as the root. Original left subtree, original right subtree, just like that. <coughs> that, that that's uh, what we return. Okay, finish. Next step, okay, next step. If sine is less than zero, now when sine is less than zero, then what do we do? <coughs> when sine is zero, uh, less, than, uh, less than zero, then we have to input this x, insert this x into the left subtree, okay? So this is the left subtree. We, we need to insert it somewhere else. So you say, a, we first define a new tree, okay? This is a new tree. New tree is the non-empty AVL tree. Using the original root as the root, using the, uh, um, uh, and, and then we insert x to the left subtree, right? And then we keep the right subtree as the right subtree. <coughs> okay, so it seems that, you know, we, this is all we need to do, but, but actually it's not. Why is not? Anyone can answer me why it is not, why we still need to, to do all these steps. Anyone knows? No? Okay. AVL, good, good. Now, if well, it is not an AVL tree, this simple step is all the things that we need to do at this moment, okay? Now, unfortunately, or fortunately, we are handling, handling an AVL tree, therefore, Therefore, it is uh, possible that you know, it is no longer a balanced a, a tree and therefore it is not an ABL tree anymore, okay? <coughs> so, so in case, you know, we have inserted X into L and L become too, becomes too high, right? Then we, you will need to do rotation. So let's look at this. You say, if, we look at the new tree. If the left subtree of the new tree and right subtree of new tree, if the height difference in height is two, ah, that means we need to do rotation. Then we did need to do rotation. Otherwise, we don't need to do rotation. Then we just go to this part and return the new tree. Okay, then we return the new tree, right? Otherwise, we will do rotation and then return new tree. Okay, so this part, is so uh, you know where we need to do rotation, okay? So that means we compare left subtree and right subtree. So you know, if the left, the height of the left subtree is two more than the height of the right subtree. Now remember why two? Because in AVL tree, uh, if the difference in height is only one, that's okay, that's okay. We don't need to do anything. But if the difference uh, in height is two, then we need to rotate. Okay, so the problem now is, should we do left rotation, right rotation, left, right, right, left rotation? Um, well, actually, you know, there are four different possible rotations, but here there are only two possibilities because we have inserted the new node X to the left subtree. So, so where is this X? I don't know. So you probably, you know, insert it to left, left, or left, right, right? If, if x a is in L, L subtree, right? Left, left subtree, then we do right rotation. If it is in the left, right subtree, then we do a left, right double rotation, correct? So, so we say, mm, let's first verify where x is. So we compare x with the key of this left subtree. You see, we get new tree, we get the left subtree, we get the root, we get the key. So it's the key of the root of the left subtree of the new tree that is here, okay? We compare the key of X and the key of 
uh, the root of the left subtree of the new tree. Okay, so there are two possibilities. We assume there are two possibilities. One is less than zero. One is not less than zero, right? Greater than zero. If it's less than zero, then, then what? Then we say x is on the left side. So we do a right rotation. We right rotate the whole new tree. Otherwise, it must be on the right side. So we do a left-right rotation for the whole new tree. Okay. So after that, we return the new tree. And that is it. Okay, question time. Any questions? So actually there are three possibilities, right? So 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 either we don't do any rotation, okay, then we just directly return. How otherwise, uh, if the difference in height is two, then we just rotate, okay? We just rotate. Uh -huh. So actually, actually, we return this. You see? The returning is done here. So actually, we return what? We say it depends. If uh, this condition is true, then we return right rotate new tree. Otherwise, we return left, right, rotate the new tree. Can you see? Now that, that is the statement written here. Okay. Any questions? No? Okay. So, so, so let, let me explain a little bit more. So, so what have we done here? So we, we, we just focus on this part. Oh, okay, we focus on this part. Now this part is this. Now we have inserted x to the left subtree, but we don't know whether x is in T1 or in T2. This is something that we are not sure. The only thing that we are sure is that x is somewhere here, okay? So we compare. If the height of the left subtree of the new, t, new tree is two more than the height of the right subtree of the new tree, then we need to do rotation and we return this, okay? Okay, if uh, there's no need to do rotation, we just directly return the new subtree, okay? That's the logic. However, if the difference in height is two, okay? Then we need to do rotation and we return the result after rotation, okay? So we, okay, this part. So this is far. So there are two possibilities. So probably x is in T1. Probably x is in T2, okay? So how do we know whether x is in T1 or T2? So we compare the key of x and key of L. Now we call this L. So if the key of x is less than key of L, then we return right rotate new tree, okay? Otherwise, we return left right rotate of the new tree. Okay, so, so that, that is a very, very simple logic. Okay, so, so I, I, I hope all of you should know how to use this question mark with column, right? So, so that's the condition, and that is the actual value. So we return either this value or this value, depending on whether the key of x is less than key of L, right? If key of x is less than key of L, then we return right rotate new tree. Otherwise, we return left, right, rotate of the new tree. Okay. Okay. Any questions? No. Mm. Okay. So uh, uh, nothing more, right? We have plenty of time. <laughs> uh, so no questions. Then can I go? Can I go on? Okay. So so let me go on. Okay. okay. So, so let's uh, look at the other part. Now, basically this part is when psi is greater than zero. Now when psi is greater than zero, what do we have? Mm, that is a mirror image of the previous part. Ah, okay, you understand what I mean by mirror image, right? So, so here I, I, I say, you know, X is inserted to the right subtree, but I don't know whether it's the left subtree of the right subtree or the right subtree of the right subtree, okay? So we say, mm, if right, it's greater than zero, then we say new tree, new tree is, is uh, we get a new, uh, a new, or oh not empty, a real tree, 
with the original root, original left subtree, but we insert this uh, x to the right subtree. Okay? Again, you know, the logic is exactly the same. So if the height of the right subtree is two more than the height of the left subtree, then we need to do rotation. Otherwise, we don't do any rotation. We just return the new tree, okay, without any rotation. Now, if rotation is needed, then what do we do? Uh, again, it's the same thing. We compare the key of X and the key of the root of the right subtree of the new tree, right? So there are two possibilities, okay? So if it is on the right, on the right, then we do left rotation. Otherwise, we do a right-left rotation, and then we uh, return the result. Okay. So, so again, you know, let me let me show you the details. Okay. So the first is that you know if if this uh, x is inserted to the right subtree, and then you know uh, if the height of the left of the right uh, right subtree of new tree. And, uh, and the height of the left subtree of the new tree, the difference is, is not two, then we return the new tree as it is. Otherwise, you know, we have to do new uh, the, the rotation. Okay, uh, 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 I think I see, uh, okay, okay. So, so, so that, that is, uh, you know, um, that, that is the first case. Okay, um, so, so far, no one wants to ask anything uh, at the moment. Okay, good, good. Okay, so um, the other case, right? So if we really need to do rotation, then, you know, we just do rotation. It depends on whether, you know, X is uh, in T3 or in T2, right? We, it depends on where, it, where X is. So if X, uh, if the key of X is greater than, you know, key of L, then we do a left rotation. Otherwise, we do a right-left rotation. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so, um, so that's uh, almost the end of it. Uh, any other, any question that you want to ask? Well, we are going to show you the last page. Can you imagine what the last page is? <laughs> uh, uh, the last page is, I show you the AVL insert node program, okay? You know, this AVL insert node program is the program that we have just written. So, so this function, just say, if it is empty, well, it's very simple. We just return this non-empty AVL tree with eggs and two empty trees. And then we compare, you know, the key of x and the key of the root. Uh, if they're the same, then we replace the root, okay? We don't do rotation. You only replace the root, right? We don't do rotation. Uh, if the node has been inserted to the left subtree or right subtree, then we do this part, okay? So we do rotation only here. So we just first insert the node to the left subtree or we insert the node to the right subtree, right? And after that, we compare the height of the left subtree or right subtree. If, if the height is, uh, is more than, is, is equal to two, okay, then we do string comparison of the key, and then depending on the result, we do left rotation, right rotation, left, right rotation, right, left rotation, and so on. So, uh, so that is the whole thing. Okay. Um, Okay, any, any questions you want to ask? Ha, huh, yeah, one more thing, one more thing. That is, you know, there is one function that we have not yet implemented. That is the height of the tree. Um, actually, it's not difficult to, to implement the height of the tree, uh, but I think I'm not going to show you, right? Probably I will set it as an assignment to you, right? Uh, uh, um, so, uh, so, just, so probably you, in assignment three, you will see a question asking you to implement the, uh, the height of the tree, right? So, um, 
is so simple, right? Especially uh, if you are able to write it in the uh, implementation file. Now, actually, actually you can you can um, uh, implement this tree height program in the application file. Now, let, let me show you what I mean. So, so actually, you know, the here, you know, the height of the tree function, the tree height function can be implemented here, of course, right? Because here you can have access to all the details of implementation. But actually, actually, you know, if you implement the height of the tree here, it is still possible, right? So uh, probably in the assignment, I will ask you to write the height of the tree function here, okay? So it's very simple. The idea is this. Now, I tell you the answer right now. Right? The answer is very simple. First case, first case, uh, if the tree is empty, the height is zero, right? If the tree is not empty, then what? Then, then you just take the height of the left subtree and the height of the right subtree and see which one is greater, right? For example, if the height of the left subtree is two, but the height of the right subtree is five, then the height of the whole tree is what, two or five or what? Can anyone tell me? Five? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very smart, very smart, right? Don't be misled. It's not two, it's not five, it's six. Ah, uh, six. <laughs> you know the reason. You know the reason, right? Right? You know the reason. Because, because the height of the right subtree is five, the height of the left subtree is two, the height of the whole tree is six, of course, five plus one, huh? So you know how to write the program, right? Very simple, very simple. Okay, any questions? If not, then uh, we can end the lecture now. No? Okay, uh-huh. Okay, good, now there's no problem, no questions, then see you again tomorrow, okay? Ah, so so someone wants to ask me questions after uh, after the lecture. Yes, but I'm not sure how you would like to ask me. So, you, so would you like to ask me? Uh, okay, okay. I I anyway. I got one question uh, in private. Uh, that that's not not very uh, that's not very related to this lecture. So so I will send. Send the uh, send him the email. Uh, okay, afterwards. Okay, so let's end the lecture now.